Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review, and today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Magnificus. Yeah, Magnificus. This is an exclusive, I do believe. Uh, got him at GameStop for a very reasonable price. It's twenty four ninety nine, but I got five dollars off because of the monthly thingy, Bob. If you get the annual thing, and then uh, discount. So that was pretty cool. Oh dear, looks like it's been opened up. Oh dear, did not notice that the first time. Hopefully, it is actually Magnificus and not um, Perceptor or something. Well, we'll figure this out. And here we have Magnificus out of his packaging and he does look pretty cool um yeah um so if we take a look at his head you can tell that it is more of the g1 perceptor face sculpt for the most part uh that's pretty much the main difference aside from the colors um it appears that it was opened but not really taken out of the packaging because the tape on the cardboard insert he was on uh in because it was like it was folded around on him a little bit so it was not didn't look like it was removed or cut and retaped. It looked like so. I was just curious as to what it looked like, and then they just slid it open, open it. All right, it's there. Close it and uh, retaped it. So I don't know if this was returned. I think what probably happened, like I said, they just wanted to see to make sure it actually was this thing. I don't know why. Maybe one of the employees is curious and they just want to take a look. I really don't know. It does bug me that I wasn't the first one to actually open it, but everything seems intact and it doesn't seem anything's wrong with it. Um, one thing that you could potentially do if you wanted to is to take off this head and put it on Perceptor and then you could maybe put Perceptor's head on this one. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure it's the same color. I don't think it's different. So it could very well be a G1 Perceptor head if you so desired. Um, the arms are pretty stiff, which is good. All of this one is kind of like it wants to, uh, not drop down. That's not gravity. It's like, it's way it's shaped a little bit on the inside of the joint is just kind of causing it to flunk down so i mean it's not the end of the world obviously this does get in the way but i suppose you could rotate to the side so it's over his shoulder although that isn't as much of what was in the show well actually I, he was never in the show so i don't know exactly what media magnificus comes from maybe it's diaclone colors or something or micro change or whichever line he was originally from but it's pretty cool um yeah, I like the colors. Okay, we are going to get down to transformation, but this time it will um, be instant transformation since I did a review of Perceptor. So, yeah, go look at that video if you want to see how to transform him in full. And presto Chango! Here we have him in his microscope mode, which is Perceptor, but black, with a big old Decepticon emblem. I don't think he had an Alba emblem on the uh, one... The, uh, the Perceptor that I reviewed, it seems more like a G1 toy type thing to do. Um, yeah, I do like that. Um, and of course, you know, articulation that can go ratchet to ratchet. And uh, the plate can, I mean, wiggle a little bit, but it's really only supposed to stay down. And then, of course, pretty much just Perceptor, just, like I said, black. And I also do like the red, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, none of these spin, but hey, it's better than, I guess, the chrome on the original one where they, you know, well, the chrome's gonna fade away and then it's gonna be just bare plastic and possibly lose them. But I do have a reissue of the G1 one and I absolutely love it and I should probably do a review of it and a comparison video if I ever get the chance. Anyway, there is one more mode from the Micro Change line. I, I'm pretty sure it's Micro Change. Anyway, there is one more, um, mode which is an artillery mode and here is his artillery mode which is pretty cool uh same thing pretty much uh as before with the microscope although it can move up and down although it doesn't rotate like a regular turret and you can plug his gun onto the side um the original one would have had the panel that i do believe could flip out and i think that's supposed to make a seat because i think that's what it was for which i think is would be pretty cool if they could do that here but it doesn't really matter because it's just for, I guess he can make himself more of a telescope, look very far away, or actually be a gun and shoot things, which is kind of cool. Although, as, a, as an Autobot uh, Perceptor, he's, you know, the scientist and all that, and he's not super strong, but he is very smart. So I wonder if he is the same, but for the Decepticons, or if maybe he's more of a fighter like the IDW um, Perceptor. 
Anyway, um, one last thing I want to point out. I don't know if I point out my perceptor review, but if you notice the treads are only on one side, this side, so that in microscope mode, you don't really see them as well as you would otherwise. This uh, G1 perceptor, one thing that is problematic, well, not I wouldn't say problematic, but very, you can tell it's supposed to also have a mobile mode, is that the uh, you can see the treads fairly clearly in uh, microscope mode. And yeah, quite a uh, pretty cool. Uh, like him, uh, might actually bring him on the ship with me. Maybe not. I don't know, but he's really cool. Like I said, and I'm trying to blather on. So yeah, if you like this review and you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.